we have one more little bit of terminology that we need to cover. If you have a nice piece of this rock, it's very, very light in weight. It would be that one. Uh, yep. Do you feel how light this rock is? You look at it, you look at its yeah. size, and you think it should be heavier than this. What's different about this rock than the other ones? Can you see anything if you look very closely at it? It looks kind of like dried bone marrow. It looks like dried bone marrow? Yeah. What makes it look like dried bone marrow? It has like little holes everywhere. Absolutely. It has little tiny holes. And those little tiny holes are holes that we call vesicles. And vesicles form when gas escapes from lava from an erupting volcano. That's the gas kind of popping a bubble. So that's what a vesicular and glassy texture would look like. Okay? <clears throat> How do you guys feel about using that texture flow chart? Good. Is that going to help you? Yeah. All right. You want to try it with one more rock? Sure. I'm going to turn you guys loose on this beautiful slab right here. Mm -hmm. See what you can do. Okay, so does, does it have crystals? I think it does. Yeah. So then yes. Mm -hmm. um, are, are the, the crystals, crystals all similar or are there two different grains or sizes? I think they're different. Yeah. Which mm. ones are bigger if they're different? Like these ones. Do you agree? I think so, yeah. Because the yeah. black ones are obviously a lot smaller than the others. Jasmine, do you agree? Um he, no. Yeah. Okay. Where do we go next? You know, two different sizes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Two different sizes. Okay. Then? Um, ground mass large enough to identify. Okay. So is it large enough to identify? So we're talking now about the black crystals, the white crystals, mm -hmm. the ones that are surrounding the larger gray crystals. Are they big enough to see? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think so, too. All right. So this one would be a texture that we're going to call porphyritic and phaneritic. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Questions about using the flowchart? No. All right. Nice job, you guys. In the next segment, you're going to be learning about the definitions of those specific different types of textures. So, good job. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>